8 p.m. Home to Ken the Gamer 04 with L.A. Noah starting now. Welcome back to the Red Lipstick Murderer. We, are we on? Oh, we're on Homicide now. All right. So, welcome back, my friends. It's Ken. I thought I would intimidate the oddball from uh, Spongebob, the French narrator. But, uh, sound like I, sound like I kind of didn't do too well with that, but it's all right. It's all right. Six months later. All right. Let's see what this brings us. Good lord. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Hmm, okay, cool. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Sorry if you do hear the fan going in the background. It is pretty hot in my room, and I'm trying to cool myself off. I read about it in the newspaper. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I, I don't know. I don't care. Okay, where are we going? Is this like up the street or what? Alrighty. So we gotta turn around. It looks like we gotta turn around, keep going. Oh, no. No, we gotta turn around. Head down. Yeah, second to... Okay. Alright. That's... It's easy enough, right? What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is, it's either gonna be him or that So they're both clearing the decks. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he Good mean Lord. by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife and takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Well, we should see and hope that this goes well. I would hope it does. Me personally. Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective.
Hmm, what do we got here? 9.33 a.m. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Scram. Yeah, really. Uh. Oh, I gotta censor this. Oh, I gotta censor this part. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I gotta censor this entire part. This is great. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Yeah, I gotta censor this entire part. It's naked woman. I don't think I can show that, obviously. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Give me that purse. I wanna see what's in it. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay. I'm gonna try and do my best to like not show the person. Because I have to really censor it. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. What? The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? That's cool. That's kind of wicked if you ask me. Why am I... Seems irrelevant. Yeah, why... Seems very irrelevant. Oh, what's this? I don't think so. Eh, you never know. Not much help. Well, I think I gotta go investigate the body now. Actually, what's this? I'll do C. This what can you tell me about the shoe prints? Size Men's eight. Size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Interesting. I like that. I like that. Um, okay, now I gotta go look at the body. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Yeesh. Hmm. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem.
What's the writing on the victim? Hmm. Hmm. Black Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst on a case like this. Okay, so we're gonna go to the bomba now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the bomba club. Um, I'm gonna make my partner drive. You know the way. You can drive. You know I don't like driving. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. Color of the decade. Been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Russell. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? Werewolf comes back around, leaving us alone in the corpse. Come on, Dale. Dale thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the MO and get himself a free. That is so That's funny. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. <laughs> There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, you understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We'll How are we supposed to figure out like the suspect's name? Like, is there people that we have to talk to? Is there someone that we have to like, like what, like what, what? I I'm sure it's gonna piece together, but like, what? Why? How? When? 9.55 a.m. And you will figure it out. Where's that goddamn place with Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. An hibiscus, eh? Ah, oh, I bet it's this guy right here. So, uh, Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? You Celine. To pay for that? Oh Christ! I'm the house officer. Yeah, sure, I know her. She and I am um, Jacob, her husband. We go way back. She was so, here last Mr. night. So, Mr. McCall? Sure, she's a regular. Selena's. Okay, Jacob Henry. Was a lovely woman. I'm sure she was. Um, okay, uh, Mr. McCall, what about the suspect scene with was the Mrs. victim? Was Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Selene already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Uh, I'll give it, I'm going to probably give him the truth. You know him? See no. what goes on, maybe. I mean, that's He's right. been in a couple of times. Do they leave together? 
Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Oh my god, it does help. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Two boy. Eight, eight, nine, nine. I like that. Okay, uh, ring stolen from the victim. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Who's Jacob? I don't know. Do I want to go truth or doubt? I, oh, man, this is weird. Uh, I'm going to say doubt. I think you know. Oh, thank God. From, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. Okay, knowledge of your husband. You or know the husband, husband, I should say. Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Hmm, really? He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No. No, not in my opinion. Doubt. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. As she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but I got no answer. Interesting. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. <laughs> oh, man. It's always fun. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Ooh. I got a call back for that universal forest line. All right. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. I doubt it. Well, stop making the damn do 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 no whatever the hell it is. I don't freaking know. Oh, I gotta use this phone. What phone? Okay, there we go. Operator, message for KGPL. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2boy8899. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. You're welcome, detective. It's so weird. Alrighty, locations. We gotta go to the Henry residence. Um, you know what? How far is that? Because I'm probably gonna drive. Oh boy. It's been a day. Henry residence, crime scene. Uh, you know what? My partner is gonna be driving. Thank you very much. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> you find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart sure lawyer might that? use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst to fend you, Cole. Sure we about that. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always that is true. It's not political, it's practical. 
Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Jaff would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency He's gonna rear-end this guy. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Alright, I was gonna say, let's get to the residence now. I ain't got all day. Or do I? I don't know, you tell me. Ow. This seems fun. Hmm, anyone home at this time of day? I would assume so, right? Yep. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Oh my. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. That's great. I don't know what we're looking at here, let's be honest. This doesn't pertain to the case. Obviously, it doesn't pertain to the case. What was he just looking at? Okay. Well, it's not making any sound, so... Yeah, there's a, uh... Story behind a headline. No thanks. Holy crap. What's this? Maybe if... No. Maybe if... Now. Oops. Seriously, nothing in there? Oh, what's this? We got a ring here. And the ring is missing. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Yeah, it does. But wait a minute, what's this? A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive. Can we further investigate? No, okay. Fair enough. I don't think this brush pertains Not to... Everything here is going to be relevant. Uh, you never know, dude. You never know. Get out of my way. Seem to like to annoy me. Hmm. Why has this place been robbed? Not sure this means much. Isn't this like laundry thing? Isn't this this is laundry something? Dude, move. I was gonna say, wouldn't this be a big indicator? Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Oh, come on, dude. Climb through it. You're... Whatever. Nothing. What's this? If you sober up, you can find me at a Oh. Problems. It speaks to motive. Hmm. evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. 
Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Well, looks like I gotta go. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for suspected 459 and 142 Let's go catch up with this girl. Hello, my friend. Hey, hey. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Hello. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan. Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Uh, she Did you died. See Mrs. Henry go out last night. Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. Ouch. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Okay, but this... I mean... Does it give any clues? I don't know. Where's, uh... Where's the... Scumbag. Unless I have to follow her. I think I had to probably follow her? Oh, he's by the car. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Well, I mean, Jacob Henry's apartment. Let's do it. By the way, you're driving. Whoa, you can drive. Easy. What? Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the God keep the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. Jesus. Says bring him in. We'll keep the hacks off her backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Golly, this partner of mine just really sucks. I'm not gonna lie. But, um... I don't know. Okay, Phil, we're going hard. You follow my lead. Okay, let's do it then. Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh my for god! RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're gonna have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus. I'm sorry. I... Eh, big guy's just gonna go sit down, that's alright. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Don't think this is anything. Why is there moving boxes? And what's this? Do you think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. Bro, he needs to stop scaring this dude. Ooh, baseball bat. Doesn't tell me anything. No, it really doesn't, but you never know. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm leaving. Okay. I just want to make sure that 
You know, I got I need to check every square inch of this house. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. This is size 11. Size 11s. Hmm. Really doesn't tell us anything. Now does it? What is this? Oh my god. So this is why... The oldest problem there is. What to do about the old lady. Wow. Wait a minute. Now I have some uh, movements of the victim. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. How do you not know? You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. What about the Bamba lighter? Um, this. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about that? We know she went to the Bamba Club. Did she? The bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. Okay. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. Last contact with the when victim. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. He's telling the truth on this one. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Okay. Motive for the murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Yes, you did. What about that death threat? No. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Yes, I much rather do. Let's just come all the way down here, and we'll do that. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss in a trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Whoa! All right, here we go. Okay. What's this fucking? Damn. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, yeah, I was gonna say the phone's somewhere about here. Operator, give me R and I. Give me R and I. Putting you through now. now. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, 
detective. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Uh, Certainly, detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Sure. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of okay. death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Ew. That's gross. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it, we're coming in. <laughs> Interviews to be set up immediately. Uh, I love that. Oh, that's fun. So I guess we're going back to the police station then? I mean... Oh, we can check out Mendez's apartment. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. I don't like driving. I hate you as a partner anyhow. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. Oh, God. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Can I somehow skip this? Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. Uh, I can't skip it. Well, now the, the scene is done. Which is good and all, but... Okay, I suppose we go check out this... Uh, apartment. This is getting interesting. Interesting so far. But 13, 14. Alright, what do these give me? What's he waiting for? Ooh. Mendez, apartment 16. Very good. Okay. Alright, let's hit him, buddy. Looks like we have to go up an elevator, maybe. Does this place even have an elevator? Oh. Here. The apartment's up on the top floor. Okay. Well, let's just head up there then, I guess. Give me apartment number 16. Don't bother please. knocking, just kick the door in. There it is. Boink. Take a look around and see what you can find. What's this? A key? Circumstantial. Yeah, really. Very circumstantial. Interesting, though. Eggs, come on. Optimistic call. Well, why'd you make that sound? Why did it make the sound? Nothing. Nothing significant. This isn't significant either, but... I don't think this is going to help us. Yeah, no. I wouldn't think so. My dude's got a large apartment. Doesn't look like anything. I don't know. The thing goes off, and I'm just like, all right. Well, let's see. Whoa. 
We've got ourselves a gun. No good to me. Are you sure about that? Oh. We've got this. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Um. Yeah, what's this? Oh my god. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Oh. Boy, oh boy. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Um. Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Oh, you're here we go. that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. That's cool. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. No, I really don't. Oh, dude. Grand Theft Auto. Get in and drive. Okay. Move it. Sorry, city property. Cole, spit him out. Ooh. I'm trying, I'm trying. Looks like this guy may Hit lose it. it. Clean this asshole off the road. Uh, let me get to him first, you ding dong. What is he doing? Oh god. That ain't gonna help. You gotta get me closer! Oh! Holy jumping! You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Holy jumping! Oh my god, that was the most realistic crash I've ever seen. So now what? We've got. Oh boy. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Yeah, you better not. So what, is this thing over now? Maybe not? I don't know, we'll see. You did a grand job, lads. Oh, I guess I did. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Yeah, it does. Considering the evidence and that's against the me. suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Oh, that's sad. Why didn't you give my character a drink? <laughs> That's sad. 17 out of 19? Oh. The suspect is in the bag. Even if you did leave Jacob sweating in Central Lanka. Darn. Well, that's okay. Alrighty. That'll do it for this episode, my friends. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys next Wednesday for more L.A. Noir. Keep it real, my friends. Peace out.